Assalamu alaikum, and hello YouTube Earths, Pro2 is here. Today, I want to share some tips, on how to check your alternators, and car batteries. We are only using a regular cheap multimeter for this job. You can buy this multimeter for as low as RM10 at any hardware store or could I do a ringgit shop. This is how I done it. And it works for me very well. We will measure the batteries using DC voltage. Set the dial to 20 volt. Take the red probe to the positive terminal. The positive terminal is usually red in color. And the black probe to the negative terminal. The battery only have 11.78 volt, it's quite weak. But still it can crank the engine. If your reading got under then 10.5 volt, the battery will not get enough power to crank the engine. Then, your car will not start. Start the engine. And I will show you, how much volt an alternator charge a car battery. New reading is 13.4 volt, plus minus electrical load on a car. The minimum volt to charge a car battery is 13 to 14.5 volt. Let's measure how many volt my alternator charge this car batteries. Fourteen point zero volt. This alternator is in good condition. If the reading is under twelve volt or above fifteen volt, your alternator is broken. When I take off the negative wires from the negative battery terminal and the engine is still running, it also means that your alternator is still in good condition. When I turn the engine off. We got new reading. 12.2 volt. That means my alternator was charging my car batteries. And it's in good condition. One more tips I wanna share. You can install a voltmeter in your car. You can get it online. It's very cheap. In this way you always know your battery and your alternator status. Before start the engine. You know your battery is in good condition. 12.6 volt. After you start your car, new reading 13.8 volt. And you know your alternator is charging your car battery. That all for today tips. Until next time. Pro 2 DIY. Use this information at your own risk. Any injury, damage, or loss that may result from improper use of any tools and equipment, or from the information contained in this video, the user must take responsibility. If you think this video helpful for you, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. May the force be with you. Pro2DIY